when you turn the control board on by pushing the power of universal power button, five lights will turn on. The decal is not a, so an illumination, but mm -hmm. it doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. Your power button, mm -hmm. your menu button or check mark. Undo one of these three, depending on where you're using the board last, and the clear button. If more buttons than this are on, your board will not work properly. Yeah. You can have something like a stack button or a rate button, anything like that. You can see right up here in the LCD screen, mm -hmm. it does not look like the home screen. So the rate turned off of it, live stack, turn that off. This is what your home screen should look like, 25 through 37, showing the numbers, and then UD 5 point, whatever the, this is. These numbers don't really mean anything to you. It is the rate of how one slider is going to fade into the other slider. So if you're doing a theatrical show mm -hmm. and you want one lights to fade down and the next lights to fade up, these are more timing numbers. In TV, we don't really care about that. We want to set the lights, forget them, and mm -hmm. do our show. Mm -hmm. And then turn the lights off when we're done. For now. This board can do a lot more. So once you turn the board on, you have over here it says faders, and over here it says record. Mm -hmm. Faders are all these little sliders over here. These are called fader sliders, or your mm -hmm. fader wing. Mm -hmm. Your all your lights on your we're gonna call it on the ceiling mm -hmm. are on one through twenty-four. We start them in order. One, two, three, four, five. If you had thirty-five fixtures, you'd have to go to twenty-five through forty-eight mm -hmm. to turn on number thirty-five because that falls between the realm of twenty-five through forty-eight. We all remember kindergarten and how we count. Mm -hmm. So you are always gonna stay on one through twenty-four. Mm -hmm if you want to start using the, the, the fixtures. Because number one, that's number one. Mm -hmm. And then right above it, there's a little gray number that'll say 25. Oh, yeah. So what we are only using is number one through mm -hmm. 24. As you can see, I'm bringing up number one and no light turns on mm -hmm. because I'm on 25 through 48. All right. If I bring that down and go to 1 through 24, now bring up slider number 1, you are controlling fixture number 1, which is right above us. Oh, okay. Every light fixture is individually controlled. Right, so we have... I created presets for you that turn them all on at once. Right. So bring up number 1, now bring up number 2, and keep seeing where they go. Mm -hmm. And it's just like as we read left to right, and around the room, all seven fixtures turn right. on. So this is generally how you will control each fixture. Mm -hmm. If you're in a rush and you want to come in, you turn the board on, go through 1 through 24, and you immediately start you know, turning the lights on mm -hmm. whichever way you want. You only want a couple on with one backlight. Whatever you prefer, this is how you turn your fixture on, and this is exactly how you dim it. So the lower you go, the dimmer it gets. Of course. Mm -hmm. But you have full dimming control on all seven fixtures. Mm -hmm. Your track system is on one circuit, a 15 or 20 amp circuit. Every light fixture is only one amp of power. How many fixtures can you put on a 20 amp circuit? 20? <laughs> Realistically, 20. Mm -hmm. But to electrical codes, yeah. you cannot max out your circuit. So you could put on 16 to 17 fixtures oh. on this one track. 16 to 17 fixtures on this track is overlighting your studio right. by far. Right. So you won't ever do that. You might get up to 12 or mm -hmm. 13. Cause really? You have, you well, you have front lights. More? You have front light fills, which are we have right now with the, with the soft boxes on them. Mm -hmm. And then we want to add key lights which are more little fresnels, mm -hmm. like the little fresnels you have yep. with the yellow ring on them. Yep. Those give highlights to the face, oh. while these boxes give wraparound lighting to the oh. body. 
so we can make our faces a little brighter than our body, and now you have more three-dimensional lighting. Okay. So you can add three more there. Your backlights, you only have three. And you you have should have three or you should oh. have four. Really? So it gives you more wrap lighting. Okay. And then if we get into chroma key, we need chroma key lights. Mm -hmm. We need lighting to light the chroma key curtain. Now if we want to shoot against the far wall, mm -hmm. we need a couple lights to hit the chroma key, and then we need a couple more lights on this track to hit the person's face. Cool. So you can see how you, keep, you start adding more fixtures very quickly. Uh -huh. And then in the future, if needed, we can always add more track to hold more lights mm -hmm. on this second circuit mm -hmm. so we're not overloading power. Do studios of our caliber usually have all that lighting? Yes. They do? Yeah. Wow. It, it's, it's not about the number of lights per se. It's about what direction you want to shoot in. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do talking heads, which is softer lighting and mm -hmm. key lights? Do you want to do chroma key work, which mm -hmm. is backlighting? Mm -hmm. Do you want to do colors? Because now you get into accent lighting. Mm -hmm. So every layer of lighting that you want to use requires multiple more light wow. fixtures. So a studio of this size could all of a sudden have 25 fixtures in it oh. because you're shooting in different directions. Mm -hmm. But for you to do that, you really have to prove to me that it's going to be used mm -hmm. and then you're not going to just waste your money and throw it up right. there because you want to. Right. I don't do that. Right. Um, I'm a minimalist. You must have died when you saw our lighting to begin with then. It killed me, yeah. <laughs> it was very painful. <laughs> but it, it, it's what you had. It's what you were yep. working with. Yep. The great thing for that is you know what it looked like. Mm -hmm. And without even turning them on, I know the quality of your productions. Right. Now with these lights, your quality of production is going to go sky high. Right. It's going to really improve greatly, Good. which is what I'm excited about. Yes. So getting back to the board, you will turn on all the fixtures that you want to turn on. Mm -hmm. So all seven fixtures is what you have now. With only seven fixtures, this studio gets pretty bright. Yes. Can I ask a question? Would yes. there ever be a time when we wouldn't want backlighting, for example, or one of these? It, okay, backlighting for me is the most important layer of lighting because mm -hmm. it gives you a really nice right. rim light on their shoulders, right. which I call separation lighting from mm -hmm. your background. Mm -hmm. If you're going to get into colors in the, uh, in the future, we're talking about adding colors mm -hmm. to your background, right. you don't want to have no backlight because then the color of your hair or the color of a, a shirt mm -hmm. or clothing can blend into that color and then you can't differentiate between the person's shoulder or the background. Mm -hmm. So now with a nice rim light or a backlight mm -hmm. that gives cle a complete outline and a separation from the person from the background. Okay. People look more three-dimensional mm -hmm. and they look true as a human body. Okay. Front lighting you can minimize. Like if you're only having one person over there, mm -hmm. you could turn off the outer two backlights oh. and only use the center one. And then if you're only using one person, you could turn off one of these. Really? Now you're only using three lights. Huh. Okay. And that would be beautiful. Yeah. But I would love to have more lighting on the sides because I like rim lighting. Mm -hmm. I like the side of their faces. Mm -hmm. I can make someone who's heavier set thinner mm -hmm. or someone who's thinner heavier set. <laughs> Just depending on how we use our shadow details. Good. Shadows, without getting too much into lighting lessons, but we should a little bit, mm -hmm. shadows are our friends. Mm. The more shadows people have on them, the more shape their body has. Mm -hmm. Light shadows, moderate shadows, mm -hmm. not dark, half, half face gone like dark side of the moon right. shadows. Right. But if there are no shadows at all, it makes people very pale, mm -hmm. it thins people out, mm -hmm. and it smooths out their skin. Mm -hmm. But that you have to overexpose, and you really need good camera techniques mm -hmm. with your TriCaster to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. okay. It's not off on the board. So you will come in and you know I want whatever number of fixtures on, and I like that. Mm -hmm. mm. And you like that a lot. You go, ooh, that's a show I can sink my teeth into. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to record this into a memory, and I'm going to use that memory every Tuesday, every second Tuesday of the month, mm. because I know Patty's going to come in and do her show. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to write it in a book called Patty's Show. Mm -hmm. So once you have this set, we're going to pretend that's our setting. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you can see right now, two backlights are out. 
and one front light is out. Yep. Okay, so we have three lights out. So you're going to go to the board and you want to record something. You want to record a, made, a memory. Mm -hmm. So you go to the area that says record. Mm -hmm. And so memories are called mems, short for memory. Mm -hmm. What button would you push to record a memory? Uh, record memory. Perfect. Push that button. Okay, so excellent. You push the button and all the, all the sliders are called bump buttons underneath the sliders. All the bump buttons become blinking red. Now, there are bright red fixtures, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, bright red buttons mm -hmm. and darker blinking buttons. Mm -hmm. The darker ones mean that they're filled already. It's telling you, do not push this button because I, there's something here already and I recorded those for you and I'll show you. Mm. So what you will do is you will pick something that's brightly lit. So just for giggles, push number 24, hold it for a second, let go. As soon as you let go, it stops blinking, and it goes back to the green to show you what fixtures you just recorded. Is that understood? Um. You push record. Yes. You chose what bump button to put it on or what slider to put it oh. on. As soon as you pushed it, it stopped blinking, and it went back to the setting where we originally set the lights. So I have to push this button when I want this lighting? No. Nope. Nope. Yes. Yes. But you won't push the button, you'll get to preview. So now, bring down all the sliders. Now, because you could bring the sliders down, we're still, in 1 through 24, controlling the lights from the sliders. Mm -hmm. You can see them turning on and off. Mm -hmm. Now, you want to use your memories. See where it says faders? Yep. I want to go 1 through 24, or I want to go to the next page, or I want to go to the mems. So here's where we were. So you would push the MEMS button, push the MEMS. It's hard to see because we're in the dark. A lot of people get a little light, they clap, yeah, clap here and they'll they they do that. Yeah. Um, so now you're in MEMS. Mm -hmm. You can see how these are brightly lit. Mm -hmm. And this one's brightly lit. Yeah. Well, somewhat bright. Yeah. So now you can push this. Mm -hmm. See that flash? That's a preview. If I want to see what that was or just bring the slider up. Now if you look at the ceiling where all the lights are, oh. again, remember, two back lights are out, mm. one front light is out. This is exactly what you created. Mm -hmm. okay. Now that's your whole slider. Oh. You can dim it, okay? So that's how you create a memory. We brought it in, one through 24. We played with our lights. When we're here, it says record. So I want to record a memory. I'm going to hit rec mem mm -hmm. or record memory. Mm -hmm. And we're going to pick what I want. Mm -hmm. Now here, we have no backlights on. Mm -hmm. And we only have, yeah, we have four front lights on. Mm -hmm. Is that different than what we had before? Mm -hmm. So number 24, if I push 24 again, now I'm going to bring these down, go back to mems, bring up 24, which is the same slider you recorded your show on. Now look, I have it's no backlights yeah. on. What I did was I overrode what you recorded. Okay. That's how easy it is to lose a show that you recorded for somebody mm -hmm. else. Okay. So we try to be careful on where we do it. That's why we have a memory card oh. and we can save a bunch of memories. So if I had 15 people coming in the TV station, there is a possibility that they all want to save their uh, lighting um, structures. Yep. So it, you have it 24 is memories. possible that somebody tries the same button. Well, but you have 24 memories. Yeah. But if you hold down the mem button and then look at the LCD screen, mm -hmm. see how it says memory page one? Oh. Now I can go to 12, memory page 12, memory page 8, oh goodness. memory page 1. All right. I chose memory page 1 and I can let go. See all the memories? You have 5. Mm -hmm. If I go to memory page 10 and let go, that's screaming. There's nothing there anymore because I'm on page 10. If I go back to page 1, 
hold down MEMS, and push the page I want, let go. Now I have five yeah. memories again. Yeah. So you have 12 pages of memory mm -hmm. with each page having 24 memories. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's a lot. It's like 144 mm -hmm. memories. Mm -hmm. So if you do have certain people or certain groups that use this, mm -hmm. you can say, you know, you and Leslie can have your own page. Mm -hmm. And I usually tell people page 12 because people won't know how to get to page 12 if you don't tell them how. Mm -hmm. um, some other group can have page six. Some other group can have page whatever. You keep giving different pages. So when you're on their pages, they can't ever mess up your memories yeah. accidentally. Right. So you're safe. And we can always record it into what we like. So if I want to delete a memory, I can go into the LCD screen and hit um, hit the check mark. Mm -hmm. That's your menu button. Then turn the wheel until you see, let's see which one it is. Sequences, save. No, load, save, load, keep going, settings, settings patch, diagnostics. Oh, okay, back up. Will go back around? to set. Go back to settings. It should. Channels, channels, independent snapshots, sequences. Did I go settings. Too fast? You want to go? Save. One more. There you settings. go. Hit check mark because that's what you want to do. Settings erase. Keep um, wheel. What does it do? Ask you erase. MID. DMX in. Out, language, display. Buttons, recording, crossfade faders, erase. Okay, go back to erase, hit check mark. Turn the wheel, because it says erase all, erase memories. Um, hit the check mark. Erase memories, erase all memories, turn the wheel. Boy, we wouldn't want to do that, right? No, I don't want to erase them all. Mm. Oh. Okay, so hit the clear button because you want to get out of there. You don't want to do that. Hit it again. Okay, how about the undo? There we go. Um, Can I un check? Undo, mm -hmm. no. Hit, keep hitting undo. I don't want to get out of here. Oh, back button. You're undoing a command. So we just hit the back button. Okay. So once you start going in here, see that the back you can as you keep going further you can keep now you just get out of here so that's going to let you erase all memories i thought i'll allow well, you to erase one. Oh. i keep getting confused in my brain over this board and the next generation board oh, okay. so i apologize okay. so now what we do is we go to one through one through 25 mm -hmm. there are no green lights if a light fixture is on even a little bit mm -hmm. you will see a green light mm -hmm. the level of the light fixture the intensity of your bump button equates the intensity of your light fixture, which is nice, but useless pretty much. So there are no lights here, meaning there are no lights on in your studio. Mm -hmm. So now you go to record mem, touch record mem. It's asking you to record something. Mm -hmm. Push 24. Now go back to mems here. And you will see 24 is gone. All right. So you recorded darkness. There is a recording here. It's just darkness. So we erased everything you had. All right. So what I did for you is I tried to make things easy, easy for you. Mm -hmm. Because right now everything is a floodlight. Yeah. You know, we don't have Fresnels. We, it just floods. Mm -hmm. What I try to do is let you have ratio control. Your back lights might want to be a little brighter than your front lights, or your front lights brighter than your back light, mm -hmm. whatever it may be. So you want to be able to control them. You know, you have lighter hair than I do. Mm -hmm. So if you're on the set, I might want <coughs> my back lights a little dimmer because your lighter hair is going to reflect the light more. Oh. If I sit down, well, I have my gray highlights now, <laughs> but when I was younger, if I sat down, you would want more light to give me a brighter rim light and a brighter hair light. 
So you want to watch the person's clothing, their hair, mm -hmm. and get into how you see that. Yeah, we so never had to do all this before. So oh, this is no, but your life is opening yeah. up on quality. So now you have one fader, mm -hmm. which turns everything on. And you may, someone may like that. Fader. Well, these are your faders, okay? Turns everything on. Number one is all seven light fixtures. Oh. So with all seven light fixtures, it may look perfect for even illumination mm -hmm. because those fixtures are closer to the back of the body than the front lights. Mm -hmm. So even though they're the same intensity, because the front lights are throwing light further, they're going to be a little bit more diminished mm -hmm. than the back lights. So you already have a, a slight 10% fall off. Mm -hmm. So you have that. The second slider is only front lights. Oh. And then the third slider is only backlights. So now, and then the fourth slider is only three lights. One backlight and two fronts. I'm only showing you what other variations you can get out of this. Oh, so if I have I a single chair, I'm, I like this one. Because you put it on MEMS? Yep. Oh, okay. Because uh, if you I, did have MEMS off, this would just be light number two, right? That would be here. And that's exactly what you did. And that's the second fixture in. Because I'm on 1 through 24. Oh. Thank you, calling 25. 1 through 24. Mm -hmm. So, yes, you only have, and I made a mistake. You have, when I said you have 12 pages of memory, mm -hmm. you have 24 memories per. Right. That's 288 memories, mm -hmm. not 144. Right. So it's actually about 280 memories more than you'll ever use. Because every show you do, if we go back to MEMS, whoops, if we go back to MEMS, by using these two sliders, front and back, that will do on almost every show you create now. Mm -hmm. When we get into the second phase of lighting, all the colored lights, and <coughs> you'll have a bunch of memories down here with colored lights. Mm. You'll have more memories up here. You, we'll get into much more control. Mm -hmm. But for right now, things are so simplified, mm. I don't, want you, I don't want you to come in and have to think too hard no. on how to work this. Yeah, we don't want to do that. That's why this is great for front lights, and this is great for back lights. Mm -hmm. I like that, but I really like my front lights a little dimmer. Yeah. And there we go. Because if you have everything up at full power, you see how you just squinted a little yeah. bit? Which is perfect. Yeah. People are going to squint a little bit. People at our age... I don't mean to throw you into my age, but <laughs> people who are over 40, let's say, 45, 50, mm -hmm. the lighting is much more sensitive to their eyes. Mm -hmm. If they squint just a little bit, mm -hmm. it starts adding years to their life. Mm -hmm. People look older because it creates wrinkles, crow's mm -hmm. feet, and we try not to do that. Mm -hmm. So by having front lighting down a little dimmer, people relax their face, their eyes are wide open, their skin is smoother, oh. they're smiling a little bit better, they don't look like they're in pain. This is good information, very good. So all of that's wonderful. And then you can turn down the backlight a little bit. So, and then with this off. Wait, what was that? That's your overhead fluorescent lights. Oh, you always want that off. You always want that off, because you can see the color temperature between the fluorescents and the ceiling have a green spike to them. Yeah. And then the lights I, ha I installed are a nice clean amber. Mm -hmm. So this is a beautiful look that you want to get into. Mm -hmm. And then you can do, I like, I like a stronger backlight than mm -hmm. a front light. It's all personal preference. Mm -hmm. So whatever you like is right. Mm -hmm. The great thing about lighting, which I really love, you can't be right or wrong. If you light your set, I don't care how you do it, and it looks good, the, the quality of production is good, mm -hmm. you did it right. Mm -hmm. If the quality of production looks horrible, okay, you didn't do so well, mm -hmm. but you still did it right, you just, mm -hmm. you're, you're, the, you're learning. Yeah. With this type of lighting system, it's very, very forgiving. Mm -hmm. If you don't do things precisely the way I would do them, because I'm a 30 year veteran of lighting, you're still gonna get good quality because it's forgiving. Mm -hmm. If your light isn't angled in the proper position, it's still gonna throw light in the direction you want it to and look good. Okay. When we get into the Fresnels or the, the second phase of lighting, that's gonna be a little bit more critical and we're really gonna delve into how do I get up there and 
move my light a little bit. Not unhook it, but just twist it. So you really are precise. Okay. And it's very easy for you to get up on a ladder and just move things. Right. Um, I don't want you on a ladder too often. Mm. That's why I love this system. Yeah. yeah. You, you and Leslie are just gonna walk in, flip a couple switches, get the cameras. The hardest part is setting up the cameras. Mm. The hardest part before was working with the lighting, trying to make it look good, bringing in these light stands. Those days are over. Mm -hmm. You know, good. so we're in a good position. Good. Okay, so back to the board. I'm sorry for rambling a little bit. No, this is good information. Um, if you want, to, once you set things up, you have all your memories going. Things look beautiful. If you have to edit a memory, you can. Let me do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring up that memory. I'm gonna hit record mem, and I'm gonna take this exact memory. I'm gonna put it on 24. I like 24. This it's out of the way. So now, again, I have exactly what I had before. Mm -hmm. That's how easy it is to move them around. I can move them onto separate pages, too. If I want to record just the front lights mm -hmm. at all, I can hit record memory, bump button, let's go nine, hit number nine, bring that down. Bump button, I'm on page nine. There's my slider on mm -hmm. page nine. So you can recreate what you have for other people on their on their own page without having to reinvent the wheel all over again. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. Also, you will have my cell phone. Um, you could put a business card, some people tape it up onto the board. If you have any hesitation on this, call me. I know this very well. Okay. Are there any written procedures? No. There used to be a book for it. Um, the box that this came in, uh, I don't know if I had a book. All of this is online. Oh, okay. You can go online and get video tutorials. You can get written uh, in instructions. Oh. But paper-wise, no. Okay. But it's online, which is nice because they save it all for you. Yeah. Um, this board can get... Uh, the software can get updated. Mm -hmm. You will never have to update the software. Oh. It's just, you won't. All right, so those are the only buttons we have to worry about. For Yeah, for now. So say you have, we're working with this slider, mm -hmm. okay? So, and we want to edit that slider for some reason. You're like, oh, I wish it was half power. Mm -hmm. You're gonna bring up the slider, mm -hmm. and then again, you're working in the record area. What button would you want to push to manipulate that to change it? Oh God! Remember, it's always going to be under the under the record, and Edit. it's not that difficult. Edit, right? Whatever you think it is, just push it. Okay, it's editing. Excellent. Okay, good yeah. job. So now you read this: select memory, select bump or stack. So what do you want to edit? You want to edit a memory. You slid this up. Push that. Yep. Yeah. Now, this is still blinking. What you did was you activated the sliders mm -hmm. that this memory is on. So let's say you wanted to... The yeah, so these, these sliders, yeah, now yeah, you can yeah. use them. You yeah. can use them to control all the lights now. Once okay. you push edit memory and then you choose the bump button mm -hmm. under the slider that yep. you were choosing, now oh, okay. you, you, you can turn all the lights off. You can, what we're gonna do is we wanna add the backlights. Why did those, four, those are the only four that were on, but if I wanted to, I could add that one. Okay, so let's say we add that one. Mm -hmm. That's great, because now we see you only add one backlight. Mm -hmm. Once you do that, hit edit memory again. That locks in the changes. Mm -hmm. Bring all your sliders down. Now bring nine down. Now when you bring nine back up again, now look and your backlight is now uh, included okay. in that memory. Alrighty. So all you did was bring up the slider, hit edit memory, hit the bump button, and change, change things what you like. All right. Again, you won't be doing this too often. Right. If ever. But I'm, I'm even wondering if people are even going to put things in memory, to be honest with you. I'm hoping people don't. Yeah. I'm hoping you some do. Some shows will, yeah. Because if you have one show, you're going to say, oh, you know, you know, Betty's here. Mm -hmm. Betty, you're number nine. Mm. And you already set her page. 
-hmm. to wherever it is. Oh, you're number nine. So she's going to walk in, turn it on, and go, oh, here we go. Mm -hmm. And you're going to preset all the intensity. Like you, you may like it down here, mm -hmm. not up here, mm -hmm. but down here for her. Well, that, you can set these levels mm -hmm. so when she goes all the way up, they're at that level. Okay. So she just has to push it all the way up. But sometimes it's nice to be able to say, you know what, I, I, I see you're wearing darker clothing today. Mm -hmm. Let me just increase my light a little bit. Right. That way you don't have to increase the iris on the cameras. You don't have to right. you know, monkey with that. Mm -hmm. You just monkey with this. Alrighty. So once you have this all set, if we're here, whoops, I'm sorry, if we're here, we're on page nine, everything dark, hit record mem, hit number nine, that's gone. I'm going to go back to page one. All our memories are there. Okay. What I want you to do periodically, well, once a year, once, twice, if ever. If people are going to keep monkeying with this, so it's very easy for me to come in. Let's say worst case scenario. Some parent comes in with their child. And the child gets curious mm -hmm. and starts pushing buttons. Mm -hmm. That child can erase everything off mm -hmm. your board and then you are wiped clean. Mm -hmm. So what we would try to do is we try to keep a recording of yeah. this board okay. and then you'll have a little SD card mm -hmm. and this one's a four gig, which is great because you know, if this whole board was loaded with 200 memories, mm -hmm. you still only need like a one gig card, if that. So what I want to do is record it and then once it's recorded, take this out of the board and keep it in your desk somewhere where it's safe. Yeah. Because if someone ever erases it, now you have the memories on your card and we can just plug it back in. Oh. So take that card and take it out completely for me. Okay, so now you walked up to the board and you want to record this. Put the card back in and you push it all the way down until it clicks. Perfect. Now we're going to record everything. So remember, we have five memories here. Mm -hmm. Hit the check mark. We have five memories here. Yes. Okay. Hit the check mark. And you're going to turn the wheel until you see something that will help you save it. Snapshot sequences. Save, load, show. There you go. So save or load, show. A, a slash means options. So turn the wheel again. You can save, show load show or with the patch what do you want to do save it think yep so you never do anything with patch that is a theatrical term mm -hmm. and you won't get into it so you either save a show or load a show you want to turn the wheel to save a show hit the check mark now um save show turn the wheel you see the number one changing, number two. If, if you keep going, it goes up to 99. Okay. So go back to number one, because you're saving show number one. Oh. Your studio is always going to be show number one. Okay. So show numbers, they build this for theaters also. All right. So show number one can be Lynn Miz. Show number, number two can be Peter Pan. Show number three can be Frozen. You just keep going. Mm. But your show is always Weathersfield TV. So all the shows we do? If every show oh. that you do is Weathersfield TV with all these memories. Right. So you're always going to be on number one. Oh. So hit the check mark because that's what you want. And then you want to confirm it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Please wait. Show files saved. And you're good to go. Mm -hmm. Now you take this out. Mm -hmm. So now if we do this. Can't save. Okay. So now. Okay, go ahead. Um, now you can see we're on page one. All your memories are gone. I erased everything. Ooh, okay. Okay, everything's gone. So now, luckily, I have this card in your desk. Mm -hmm. So you run to your desk, grab the card, put it back in, mm -hmm. put it back in, and click it all the way down. What do you think you have to do 
Ja, 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 Sequences say Mocho, right? Okay. And then Mocho, Mocho. Now turn the wheel. It says Mocho 1. Yep, turn the wheel. See, oh, it is turning. Oh. See how there's two shows here? Oh. Which show are you? One. One. So hit the check mark. You want one. And automatically, those five came back again. Oh, okay. So you always, and then once you're done, Unclick that, mm -hmm. and you're fine. Yeah. So you can always be sure to have these. Mm -hmm. Now, the good thing about it is this card shouldn't lose the savings on it by sitting in a drawer for years. Mm. Also, these memories, they're built into the control board, and they're saved in there. If you unplug this control board and store it for a summer or, or a period of time, they will not go anywhere. When you plug it back in a year later or more, they will still be there. So those are wonderful. So going backwards, we learned 1 through 24 mm -hmm. on faders mm -hmm. is how you play with the lights. Like if you want to just walk in for a special show mm -hmm. and they said, give me the lights. Okay, here you go. Mm -hmm. We're just going to give you full power. So it's everything. always got to be on that in order for us to... Yes. So if we go through 25 through 48, it's not going to do anything. Nothing happens. Because we don't have those lights. But if you do 1 through 24, and then you go through 25 through 48, mm -hmm. you have no control of your lights anymore. Mm -hmm. Why? Why, why, can't, why can't you control them? Because we don't them? have those lights. <laughs> Correct. You're, you're not controlling the DMX channels anymore. Mm -hmm. So to be able to do that, you have to go back to 1 through 24, mm -hmm. bring, the, bring the sliders all the way up. Mm -hmm. Now you can control them. Mm -hmm. So if someone comes over here and says, oh, I want to control the lights, and they accidentally hit that. Right. That's what I'm thinking. So if it, now the green lights will come on mm -hmm. because it's sending a DMX signal. It's just not sending them to any fixtures. Because you don't have any fixtures 25 and up. You only have fixtures one through. But those lights are on. But they're not on through these sliders. Oh. They're on through those sliders. Oh, gotcha. So if you're not on the right page, mm. you cannot control your fixtures. This is a common phone call I get. Mm. Why can't I control? And I'll say, and again, I'll say, how many lights are lit? And you'll say, this, this is no, but you'll, most people mention it. You'll say, this. The menu button, undo, you'll go 25 through 46 and clear. Mm -hmm. And I'll go, okay, that's your problem. Mm -hmm. And I'll ask you. You'll say, oh, 1 through 24. Mm -hmm. You're right. I get phone calls so all the time. I'm going to tell people, you know, I'm going to have a little note here. Okay. That that's a requirement. Yep. You know, none other, really, right? Here's the other biggest one I get. And then they start trying to use the lights. That's See right. how nothing turns green when you come up? Yep. You're on 1 through 24. Yep. And you're up here. Mm -hmm. But this little button blackout. is called Ooh. blackout. So when I push it, it turns the lights on. I call it the lunch button. So all of a sudden you're doing a shoot and you go, okay, let's break for lunch. You don't want to oh. change the ratios. So you just go here, mm -hmm. turn off the lights so they're not burning all the time. Oh. And then you go have lunch. Mm -hmm. And then you come back, you turn them back on main problem is people bump this mm -hmm. or this button burns out. Oh. If the button burns out, remember, if you're ever using your light fixtures, these green lights from your bump buttons always turn on. Oh. If they don't turn on, it means that there's a blackout on, mm -hmm. or and if it just doesn't let it light up, you burn out your bulb. And you can get that replaced. You have mm -hmm. to send it in for most people don't because it costs hundreds of dollars really? to, okay. just to send it out for their labor and mm -hmm. this 50 cent light bulb, mm -hmm. they, they charge you, you know, over a hundred bucks. Yeah. It's stupid. So when that is on, this is also, says master. Mm -hmm. This is your master dimmer and your bumps. So bumps is if we're in memory. Okay. 
So if we're in memory, now push the bump button. Nope, that's sliding it up. Oh, oh push the bump sorry. button. Okay, that's your preview button. If I have this up, now push the bump button. So you can preview, and what does this do? Because some people don't want to go, which one was it? Oh. They'll, they'll go like this. When you have colors, and you forget, when I do this, I go, our LED color lighting, every fixture in the world is RGB, red, green, blue. Some are red, green, blue, white, or amber, or mm -hmm. wine. So if we start, we're gonna go red, green, blue, amber, white, and then we're gonna make up colors. Mm -hmm. Fuchsia, purple, magenta, whatever you like, we're gonna make up a whole row of colors for you. But you're gonna forget which one's which. So you're gonna come up, and you're gonna start pushing the bump buttons to see what color it was. Mm. Oh, there's blue, then you'll just bring up the blue. Mm. But if this slider is down, because it says bumps, these bump buttons don't work anymore because you turned it off. Mm. So these sliders, these four sliders, should be up oh. all the time. Right. I have customers that tape them mm -hmm. and just never let people use them because mm -hmm. people will come in and they'll do this mm -hmm. and then they start viewing this mm -hmm. or this. See, I have no lights are there mm -hmm. because this is already down. So here, that does light up, even in blackout. It does get brighter. Mm. And they go, well, this is going against what Jonathan told me. Well, not really, because it has to be in the green. You see the difference? Mm -hmm. With MEMS, it lights up for some reason. So we always get concerned about these four sliders, mm -hmm. and then everything works perfectly. That's where you're going to live with this board. Mm -hmm. So that's the full training on this board mm -hmm. for as far as I want you to go. Right. There are a lot of other buttons here. Yeah. Copy, um, record sequences, magic. I don't even know what magic does. Mm -hmm. But recording a sequence, you can make one light turn on, mm -hmm. then in three seconds that fades down, then the other mm -hmm. light comes on. Again, theatrical yeah, style. You won't either. get into it. So you're never going to use the top three, mm -hmm. and you're never going to use snapshot in the bottom. All you're ever going to use are those two. Mm -hmm. These buttons down here, those are crossfaders. Mm -hmm. Those are for scenes. Mm -hmm. Scene one, scene yep. two, scene three. And if you do any movement with your lighting, meaning up and down and it fades to the next light, mm -hmm. you are not working with professionals that know how to time things perfectly. A person may cough. They may hesitate. Mm -hmm. They may go, oh, let me just ask that again. As soon as you get off track, all the lighting that's moving, doesn't it's gone so you can't keep up with it so I beg everybody never do sequences yeah. never do crossfaders so here you're never going to use you're never going to use that you're not going to use this this is where you live the three here mm -hmm. well that you'll never use right now because you don't have enough lights yeah. it'll be this one that one does this seem fairly simple? Yes, after you describe the buttons, yeah. It's very intuitive if you understand the buttons. <laughs> the buttons. Yeah. And I tell everyone, it's, you walk up to it and it's confusing. You know, when I was a little kid, I had no idea how to tie my shoes until mm -hmm. someone showed me. Right. And that's one of the easiest things to do in the world. Right. Even okay. though I have slip on shoes <laughs> now. I've done tying shoes. Yeah, you know, my shoes tie, but they have zippers now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that too. Um, so this is a great little board for you. It's going to do everything that you want, mm. and it's a hundred times easier to use than the previous board you had. That mm. Chave little thing. Oh yeah, that's that was extremely confusing. Yes. So, and I've been working with that one for years, and really? I still don't know how to use it. Mm. Uh, even the rep comes out and shows me how to use it. He doesn't know how to use uh, it. Well. So. I'm thrilled that you got into this mm -hmm. because it is very intuitive, it's very simple, and you really can't mess it up too much. Mm. And if anything, you can call me on the phone and I'll have it with you up and running in like mm -hmm. 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. You just call me, mm -hmm. you die, if, just, if there's yeah. a problem, text me, say um, lighting 911, and then call me and I'll mm -hmm. step out of a meeting or I'll wake up, or whatever it may be, mm -hmm. I will help you get it up and running. Oh, good. Because generally when you do that, 
there's people sitting on the yeah. set, you are wasting time yeah. because you're, like, you're nervous, you're freaking out because yes. you like them. Just call me. All right. It's always free. Mm -hmm. That's why. Cool. That's why you're working with me. Hopefully. Yep. It's not about installing a nice system. Mm -hmm. It's service after the fact. Mm -hmm. And I mm -hmm. really pride we myself don't on get that. that. From anybody else, oh, so that's good. Uh, it's something I pride myself on. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I'm in Connecticut periodically. Mm -hmm. Two months from now, mm -hmm. you all forget how you do mm -hmm. this and you're. Your recording dies, mm -hmm. and you want a refresher. Yep. Sure, I'll come back. I'll have some fun. We'll do a refresher course. Cool. And then I'll go see my mother. Smart. What's that? Smart fade. So I want to look for your. Do you want? You have a online. smart. You have a smart fade. Twelve forty-eight. All right. And it's under the etcconnect.com website. Oops. Etc. And then the word connect, all one long word, etcconnect.com. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat the name of that again? Smart, Smart Fade 1248. How are they spelling that? Fade? F A D E. F A. Smart, F A D E, all one word. Right. And right. they have, you know, video tutorials, and you can even download uh, all the old. Um, uh, manuals. Oh, good. And then you could print it out. It's like 90 pages. Oh. It's great for insomnia. Yeah. But I, I just, you know, I love what you just did. I just want to do some basic steps for people. Yeah. No, it's fantastic. A lot of people will just take something up here yeah. and say, oh, I'm stuck. Mm -hmm. well, here's a troubleshoot guide or mm -hmm. whatever it may be. Um, great. So, is that good? Yes, yeah, very Excellent. good. Okay, let's leave the lights on for a minute. Uh, we could probably turn this off if you'd like. Well, no, let's let's do this. Let's leave it on. I'm not sure if this will work. The drag is, yep, okay. Slowly. So I'm going to turn this off.